All right, uh, now 6.37 on this February 2nd morning, two days into Black History Month. And just uh, back in January, Brissa, you were down in ATL, Atlanta, Georgia, where you got a chance to sit down with Dr. Bernice A. King, the daughter of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. But uh, we know the uh, Erie News Now crew down in that area was pretty busy. Yeah, and it wasn't the only stop we made right. in Atlanta. We also made our way to Birmingham, Alabama, a city known as Ground Zero in the Civil Rights Movement. Now, while we were in Birmingham, we toured the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. We saw the historic 16th Street Baptist Church, along with the sculpture made to honor the four girls killed in that Sunday church bombing. But I wasn't alone on this journey. Our Isley Gooden was also there, and she had a sit-down interview with the CEO of the Institute. And she explained the importance of updating the Institute's exhibits as the civil rights movement is far from over. It's important for us to be truth tellers here at the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. We can't play nice all the time. We can't sugarcoat everything. Some of this is ugly, it's nasty. And so we have to show that so that our communities know that we're not trying to um, erase pain. We're not trying to cover up anything. For that full interview and much more, you can find that tonight when we air our special Black History Month Hearts and Hands together tonight at 730 on WICU. Yeah.